Hello guys, I'm currently working on a mod on Minecraft and um, I thought about uh, streaming this channel so like motivate myself as well and maybe hear some feedback from you guys if you're following this so I want to make a little mini series of some modding process I'm currently working at um, the mod I'm working at is uh, currently a mod themed uh, with dinosaurs, uh, with the focus of water creatures, and uh, so far the mod uh, includes one um, animal that's completely done, no not completely, but um, my goal is to make it for like uh, Minecraft version 1.12.12.12.2 uh, um, but then um, yeah, let me show you something. Woo! Fly up over here. And as you see here, we got the, my first little mob project here. Mm -hmm. I'm calling him Lambert. He was a little fucked up right there. A uh, little silly movie mapping there. But <laughs> it worked fine. Another first attempt. Uh, got two other animals. You can't see them that good right here now. But uh, I'll just show you down here. Um, this is the area we are gonna work at. And we'll probably expand it and build some more things as time passes by. But uh, today we're starting really fresh. I built that little house of mine. And that's all. I just got a rabbit. Okay. Um, the first uh, map I made is this Ammonite. As you can see, this Ammonite has some animations and it's very cool with our coarseness uh, algorithms. That's making it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually how the Minecraft squid is bucked in uh, 1.12. Um, it has some very weird acting. But, and, uh, Currently I have made that the Omanite here is um, able to um, is able to like be on land but it will die because of the lack of water. Uh, actually it's the same way to kill uh, animals when they are in the water. They will drown but the by squid actually drowns on land. That's how it's working in Minecraft. And I've done a lot of details making these squids with the um, UV mapping and all sorts of things. Um, actually, it was a little tricky to uh, like make the squid able to like breed and stuff like that without it. Uh, I have two squids here now. Uh, if I would call the eating fish, so I can actually breed these squid, uh, these ammonites. Sorry. I just have to figure out what the fuck just happened there. <laughs> I was running into it. Oh! Yeah, we got one. And actually it was pretty funny about these squids because... Uh, oh, I'm an ice. Because they uh, were like... Um, I based them on the squid model, so they had like the same uh, heights and width at the start because actually a ammonite and a squid in Minecraft is pretty close to like the default behavior of the squid. So that's what I'm currently using. It has some bugs with colliding uh, these squids, but actually when you half size uh, a squid in Minecraft, you will have a problem where the child animal will be uh, so um, it will it will jump above uh, the ground if we have like a path like this and it will be like sitting here and it will die because it's uh, too low so i actually had to adjust the height and that's probably somebody have run into this problem but i guess that's why minecraft didn't make squids able to make babies because there is this bug but I actually managed to pull it off. At the moment I'm currently working on um, a new animal. This is uh, a Ichirosaurus. It's uh, a fish 
of some sort like like uh, it, it, it's a little similar to like a swordfish or something and this animal will not have the same behavior as the squid but uh, for the time being i will make it like the squid and currently the model has to adjust so it gets a little lower as well um, but I'm currently working on that uh, and I actually like the model. The model uh, is able to like flow very good um, like it is it has a lot of um, parts that makes it able to like move around like a fish very smoothly uh, when I start animating it but uh, I have to fix everything else before I can start animating the animal. Uh, and that will probably be uh, it will be a very fast animal. Uh, not a carnival. I will not be killing uh, the Minecraft players like the Ammonite, the neutral. I thought that maybe this fish would be like if you attack it, it will, uh, its A will make it like move a little away from you. It has a very fast uh, pace. It will be very fast. This animal, uh, Ichiosaurus. It will be very fast and it might like it attacks you once like stab you once and then leaves again to make another strike and in uh, my mod uh, you, the player should be able to like get a harpoon at some point and that's how the gameplay actually is going like you are down the water and you got a diver suit and stuff like that and you have to face the horrors of the prehistoric ocean so that's pretty much what I'll be working on today. I will be looking a little into this one's texture. I will maybe <laughs> get it low. I actually don't know if this one can break yet. Uh, I might as well fix that right away. But um, the AE, AI, I will not be working on that today. It will, I will look into that in, in uh, later videos. But. Um, Right now the goal of the mod right now is like five animals and i want to actually look into how to generate a world environment for my animals where they will be and i hope to make some realistic uh, realistic uh, what we'll call it behaviors for the animal life and also i will be making some more custom items for the mod so um, terrain and stuff like that and water plants i actually think uh, minecraft is lacking a lot of water life so i think in the later versions they have been become better at that but for now that's pretty much how we're gonna do it and yeah my lamp turtle here i will never fix him he's beautiful as he is as far away from it <laughs> you are too weak to live bye so that's it for this episode so um i hope to show you something nice in um, a few minutes for you it will be just a few seconds i guess have a nice day oh hello guys we are back again and um whew, what a struggle it has been <laughs> well i started making oh let's get the time right time day there we go okay so uh, I have been working on the texture of my um, Ichirasaurus, and here you go. This is how it ended up being, and uh, I haven't yet uh, animated it, but it is actually able to... Uh, oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we got one more. Let's see, uh, give it a fish. Mm, it likes it raw. Oh, they're dying. I'll try over here. So we can feed them and they will get a child and yeah we can't be on that either. So there we go. Got half the size and it's able to swim around without drowning. And as you see I've made a little exhibit here for it. Um but actually I was a little um, annoyed. I hate their standard Minecraft glass uh, block it's very like it's hard to see through also when the water behind it is blue and stuff like that i actually don't like that block very much um so i decided to make my own block and jesus christ what a bother i have never there was so many things i had to like fix before it worked and um, 
And in the end I found the solution. People recommend it up to find stuff like that, but I don't prefer to use other people's um, stuff like that. That's I, I rather prefer to use uh, Forge and then Minecraft, Minecraft, so own way of making things. But the, I managed to make this glass and um, some of the problems I had was that uh, at the start, like I had that it was a whole block, so it would like make uh, faces in between the glass, not like this one, you see, where it's smooth, like it should be, and mine as well. But then I finally found a way to make it like this, but then I had the problem that I got the x-ray mode at the bottom when it connected to different blocks, so um, I figured out that I figured another way out. Oh, they're calling me. <laughs> so, well, it actually worked, uh, and I think what I will be doing next will be to... Um, I will just add a few uh, blocks to make like a tank for this animal, because now we can better see what's happening on the other side, and that's very important for me in order to see what maybe it should be more shoot uh, till but again we give it water and probably nice um so the next part will be me making so a few blocks to make like a tank board and don't bother that that's the squid animation that's off the roof so <laughs> i will probably fix that when i start working a lot more with the ai so I hope to like make the blocks and I hope to um, maybe I will be making the animation for this Ichiro's arrows already uh, or at least a movement uh, animation so um, see you around and next time we'll be building a tank so have a nice day see ya ciao um, hello guys I'm back I just made a few more um, blocks for a uh, mod here uh, with some focus on the, um, I would call it like a tank for the animal. And uh, right now they are lighting the area up as well, but uh, of course they will not be doing that in the end. So um, how we're going to do it now, we need to make like a little pool for for the animal. Oh, I can also show this one. Uh, try to make some three dimensional stuff going on here, just with some texture. There so. we go. So let's start by finding out where we are gonna build it. Hmm, actually, maybe we could align it a little bit with this. Uh, do, 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 do. No, this is a nice area. Let's make a pull here. Okay. So this. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's give it like three. Oh, that's full. <laughs> that's free. Do, 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 yes. So, I thought this could be if you wanted to like make a swimming pool or something, this would be the block to use for that. So it would be like a thing around the water and stuff like that, but I need to be able to see how the animal react inside or a box as well so I really hope this uh, glass works as I expected with the water because uh, I made it a little blue but I wanted it to be more transparent than the normal Minecraft glass so I better could look inside the exhibit or the tank. Let's put some sand just to make it a little nice. Let's try to like spawn the animals inside here. So we have the ammonite. And then the new Ichirosaurus. There we go. It looks fine. Let's see how it looks inside here. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Except that. But uh, that's, again, 
<laughs> That's some colliding. I have to figure out how to make better. But um, we got the elements inside the box, and uh, now we got a little tank, and we don't jump over the edge, so that's how it should be. We got a nice testing environment going here, um, and that's way better than the tank we had over here. Let's remove this glass now, and um, I think the next uh, part will be, the next and the last part of this, will be that I um, make a few swimming animation animations for this one. Actually, I will only make be making one for starters. I can't wait to see the final uh, it. It's gonna be awesome. So, till next time, guys. See ya. Hello, fellas. How are you? I'm back again, and uh, I have completed the animation for my animal. Uh, we still need to make like the name for it, but for now, this is how it looks. I would end it up. I might probably adjust it a little while I'm fixing the its AI, the AI, pronounced correctly for once. <laughs> uh, but I actually think it uh, ended up pretty good. Uh, and as you can see here, if I got like two of those and I feed them, you got a kit, and the kit will um, of course also be animated. Let's move them away. There you go. So there you have it. I have made some animations for it, and it actually works pretty good. Maybe at some point I will make a growing uh, mechanic for these animals, but that must be in a later version if it goes good. Everything. Uh, and then uh, we see in here it works pretty fine. I just made the uh, two kids, uh, two children uh, for these two animals, uh, Ichusaurus and Ammonites. Uh, and I think uh, it's neat to have them so I can observe if there are any unexpected bugs, like they don't grow up or something like that. But I, I don't think that will be an issue. I think they will be growing up soon. And uh, then uh, I figured out also that I had this light thing here, and I think some of the next videos I think I will try to like make a light source on the water that uh, doesn't really stand out this much but that you can use to like light up the aquarium so you better can see what's going on inside here but I think actually it's going pretty good right now it's uh, pretty nice but the boxes are light at top as well so um, that's it for now um, and I think in the next episode I will be starting to make uh, the next animal. And uh, now we have done some of the boring animals, so the upcoming animals are going to be very, very interesting. Um, I will do it in the order that I will uh, start by making all the models, and make uh, a simple animation for swimming, and then afterwards I will like go through the AIs and their behavior and some of the animal will be uh, carnivores so uh, they will be very dangerous but will also have some very complicated AI functions task attached to, to them so I can't wait to do it so um, these were the boring ones and now we are going to start on the next one in the next episode see you guys have fun thank you guys for watching this is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, feel free to give feedback or if you have any ideas you want to see me incorporate, feel free to comment in the commentary field. Um, and if you like bunnies, hit that subscribe button and if you don't, hit it even harder. Bye!